Well, what's up, guys? Afanity here again, bringing you the first episode of my second series. And while Raiden Solo focuses mainly on individual based play, this one's going to be more from the competitive team based play. So, if you have a team and you're looking for some tips or just uh, general strategy or ways to play certain roles, uh, this series is for you. So, this is going to be from an online scrim against the Fathering, which is another pro team. Uh, this is just practice, it's not really worth anything other than just uh, working out kinks for upcoming events. And speaking of upcoming events, we have Hypha Station next weekend. If you guys, uh, if you guys don't know anything about that, I'll leave a, uh, a link for you in the description box below. Anyways, kicking it off, this is Checkout, and the basic strategy on this map is you send three people over to the bigger side of the map and one person over to Frags. And I play the first lane, we call all four lanes L1, L2, L3, L4 to make it short and quick. So I play L1, which is a heavy support role. So I'm going to be getting pushed here, and I'm going to be able to take this guy out with some nice shots. Um, Puff is able to get a kill on the platform on a guy that I already had lancered for him. And that's really what you want to do in this spot, is you make just fire at everything. Be like the Terminator. Uh, just like identify the biggest threat to your team and just lance him as much as possible. If you can't hit him, hit the next uh, biggest threat. So you'll see me doing a lot of lancering from this spot, and that's just really all it's about. So we're going to stick to this 3-1 strategy. Again, that's the basic strategy that most uh, top teams are doing these days, where they have 1L1, 1L2, and one playing the platform with inks and incendiaries. The other team climbs up to flat right away and grabs their ink, and that may have looked uh, like a bad play on my part, but what I was trying to do was Lancer for Franchise as much as I could, because he was pushing wide on them. And if he gets that kill on L4 with my support, then he's going to have map control on them and have their side of the map. So, when they get their ink, they have three choices really. They could have used it on Franchise at L4, on Puff at the platform, or on me. And they used it on me, which I think was probably the, the weakest out of the three choices, honestly. Because even though they got me down, they still let their teammate at L4 die and gave us map control. And, like, after we get that initial kill on L4, I'm not really going to be a threat. It's more about the people on their side of the map. So maybe they'll change it up next time, we'll see. But I'm just going to go to my spot and just Lancer, 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 Lancer. It's probably the uh, best thing to do in a spot like this for sure, because uh, your teammates are playing more aggressive spots. And, I mean, this isn't like the flashy or the glamorous play that uh, you'll see other people getting to do. But it's definitely a necessity to have a player playing a role like this. Because as you can see, on those three kills my teammates just got, I got 110 points, 90-something points, and 40-something points. And that's that's a lot of support on three guys. I didn't even get any of the downs. Just just a lot of good support fire. Uh, I have 500 points on one kill and one down, which is uh, pretty good, guys. So, we're up uh, 3-0, I think? It sounds right. Anyway, so... This guy climbs up on the plat and tries to grab the ink. They did that the last round, so we kind of predicted it coming. And me and Puff were able to focus that guy down. Then I get I down another guy that was rotating over from frags. They're going to use their ink on me again, but overthrow it a little and try to double push me. And I think I get the trade right here. Yeah, we trade, unfortunately. And see, right there, I don't think we should have lost that round at all, because we downed the guy that picked up the ink, and I downed their fourth guy that was rotating back over from nades. And that's two people down, plus Franchise um, killed their person that was playing out wide and took their side. So that's really sloppy on our part, because we had map control, we had two people down, and we had one dead. So it's basically a 4v1 against the last guy standing. I guess he just held it off long enough for his teammates to tap up, because they don't even have any revives. They just tapped up on their own. So pretty sloppy on our part, I felt like we should have won that round. So we're just going to keep doing what we're doing, and I'm just going to keep lancering, man. Uh, I see Queen trying to push right away, and I get that down. I full red the person behind Queen, and I full red the person in L4. So they're all full red, and my teammates kind of make a bad push. I think they should have coordinated a little more with, like, a smoke and then also gone at the same time. Because I had one person down, the guy behind the person down full red, and the person on L2, or L4 or L3, um, like, in their back lane. Uh, he was full red also, so, I, it's kind of, I think it's a, you really should never lose rounds like that, it just shouldn't happen, but, 
Regardless. <clears throat> so I think we probably should have already 4 0 him on this map, actually. But we're just gonna keep doing this, man. 3 1, uh, Lantern. Puff calls out the guy climbing on Plata, I immediately look there. I get the down on him. David, or er, Puff gets inked, unfortunately. But Fran pushed out wide and killed that guy again. Really good job on his part. Which allows me to just keep lancering, and he's in their back. So we kind of just pinched him and ended up getting both of them down. And from here we just have a 3 on 1 against uh, CDN. And we're just going to get angles on him and lancer him down. So if there's anything you can uh, take from this map, is if you're playing a support type spot, like I was here on checkout, you want to lancer everything that moves and you want to lancer for longer than you think you should because as you can see right there in that last round perfect example i got the down on the guy that picked up the ink grenade and i think a lot of players in that position probably would have jumped o jumped from l1 into l2 and tried to push the platform but that's really not what you want to do in that type of situation it's a lot better to just keep lancering because franchise had killed the guy at l4 and taken their side so we have them pinched and really the only way we can lose at that point is if I push up there because then they get the revive on the guy on flat and they both put one shotgun shot in me and I'm probably down. So just lancer for longer than you think you should. Just keep getting active reload, keep targeting people, keep downing them. You know, that's all you really got to do. Uh, I hope this helped you guys out a little bit with some uh, checkout strategy for 4v4 gameplay. If uh, you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them, I'll try to get back to you guys. And if you have any suggestions on A, what to call this series, and B, if you want any specific maps or game types for me to cover, just uh, let me know and I'll try to make it my top priority. Thanks guys, make sure you subscribe, and I'll be back soon.